Class A versus the Super C. Who is the king of the road? Hey guys, it's MJ and Izzy from Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, and if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. In this video, we are going to break down the pros and cons of the Super C and the Class A. So for the purpose of this video, we are gonna narrow it down to your mid-range luxury diesel pushers versus your higher end Super C motorhome. So the price range is gonna be from a low end around 300,000 up to like this $600,000 range and that's gonna be for a new motorhome MSRP. Right, and make sure to stay to the end because we are gonna tell you the verdict of what we think. So number one is price. Now, as Izzy mentioned before, you know, we're talking about the price point, that mid-range. Now, you have, of course, diesel pushers that you can easily pay $2.5 million for. Let us know, but we don't think there's many Super Cs out there that you're going to be paying over a million dollars, right? Most are going to be think at one, the, the highest end. Like the $700,000 range, yeah. MSRP, but right. that's not really what you're paying right. for them. So. so you have a much broader range when it comes to price in terms of the Class A. Okay, number two, and something that's really important to us is gonna be safety. Again, we're talking about the mid-range diesel pusher, luxury diesel pusher, something like a Tiffin Phaeton, an Integra Aspire, a Newmar Dutch Star, something in that range, okay, that, that $500,000 range, versus something uh, like, say, a Renegade or a show hauler, okay? That, that's what we consider a real Super C. There's a lot of Super Cs out there that are, they call them Super Cs, they're not Super Cs, okay? Now we're talking about safety, okay? Well, when I say, <laughs> I say Super C, I mean no, something I on a Class 8 truck right. chassis, not something that with a Ford F550 okay. or, or something else. That, that's not a Super C, okay? <laughs> so anyway, let's talk about safety. The majority of the diesel pushers, really almost all of them, if you're gonna buy new in this price range, it's gonna be fiberglass walls, okay? It's gonna be usually an aluminum framing, uh, and then it's gonna be on one of two chassis. It's gonna be a Freightliner or a Spartan. Now. They, those two manufacturers of Freightliner and Spartan, they have different size chassis, of course. And then usually whoever manufactures the motorhome, they will do some modifications to that chassis. But basically it's your chassis, house on top, fiberglass walls, fiberglass front. There is very little protection in the front of that motorhome. When I stand up, when I'm driving, if we stop and pull over, whatever, mm -hmm. and I stand up and look out, I say, th thank God we're not crashing this thing because yeah. you're, you're done you're gone yeah even more <laughs> so i mean we have a little lower end uh, motorhome we've been to the manufacturing places and like you know some companies they they do do some like steel caging in the front i know winnebago does i know uh integra coach has some steel cage there's no engine to protect you okay no. on a class on a super c right you have a class eight truck eight now, class yes, eight, eight right yeah so what basically what that is for layman's term class eight is any truck chassis truck that's 33,000 pounds or more basically a semi truck right well you see going down the road pulling the 53 foot trailer so that's going to be your Freightliner Cascadia's right your Peterbilt's your Kenworth's like these are made to be on the highway to pull heavy loads why is it so safe well it's it's a commercial truck right it's made to carry a person driving all the time it's made for that purpose you also have that big yeah. engine up front. There's okay? a lot of space between you and whatever you're hitting in front of you. I promise mm -hmm. you, if you have a head-on collision, mm -hmm. you are going to want to be in a Super <laughs> C Class 8 yes. truck versus being in one of these production motorhomes. 100% front-end collision. And on the higher-end Super Cs, also side and rollover mm -hmm. uh, collision because mm -hmm. some of them, like the show haulers, it's all steel cage welded. You're not getting that on a, mm -hmm. now you will get that on a super, super high end diesel pusher. But like, not in the same price. Like a Prevo, the price but range. $2.5 million. Right, right. Okay, so yep. safety, the winner is going to be hands down a real Super C. So number three is going to be living space. Now, just think about it. You're taking all that room up the front on a Super C where that engine is, you're losing living space, mm -hmm. okay? Whenever we've looked at the Super C's compared to the Class A's, you're going to get more space in the Class A. 
overall. Right, if you took a 45 foot Super C versus a 45 foot diesel pusher motorhome, now we say diesel pusher, right? Anybody knew the diesel motor is in the back of the motorhome versus a Super C, the motor is up front. If you take two comparable sizes, 45 feet, living space, living box, mm -hmm. right? You're gonna have more on the Class A, no doubt. Mm -hmm. You have not only uh, as far as interior living space. If it's a raised rail chassis, you're gonna have more storage space underneath right, on right. the uh, on the Class A. Not that the Super C doesn't have storage space, but you will have more on the Class A. And we love our space. Number four is going to be repairs. Now, we know as Class A owners that getting repairs done is no easy task, all right? If we're out on the road and we have something happen to our rig, it's not gonna be that easy to get it fixed. If we are in a Super C, you are gonna go to any truck stop, right? You're gonna have such better access to getting your rig fixed than if you're in a Class A. Now, what she's talking about as far as a uh, mechanical, right? Mm -hmm. So so your chassis being fixed. Uh, as far as the box, the living area, you're gonna have to go in an RV right. place. But yeah, like she said, uh, you know, we go to Ford. Now we have a Ford F53 chassis. This is one of the reasons why we bought a gas. It was our ability to go to Ford. If we had a diesel pusher, nobody wants to touch it. You gotta go to an RV spot and you know RV dealerships, you're three weeks, mm -hmm. a month out. You're without your coach. Even touching on that, right, as far as repairs, the repair cost to work on a Super C is gonna be mm -hmm. less money because, like she said, those truck stops are everywhere. If, say we have on a Cascadia, Freightliner line Cascadia, that's a very common one on these Super Cs. You go to any Freightliner truck dealer, right, mm -hmm. or any Freightliner mm -hmm. repair center, they're all over the highways 24 seven. They need to be. They need for to those be, guys. right? Because you gotta remember, these, or gals. these trucks are made to run 24 seven, 365. Mm -hmm. Anytime they're off the road, these companies are losing money. They cannot have that. So these places are open all the time. Your per hour repairs are gonna be cheaper because you just open the hood, mm -hmm. everything is right mm -hmm. there. Some of these diesel pusher motorhomes are insane. If you, if you, especially if you don't have a side mounted radiator, like to change the oil, to change belts, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Yep. And a lot of people, they just don't want to work on them. So they're going to charge you more and it's going to be harder to get into a place. Yeah, take longer. Uh, additionally, the repair, the uh, maintenance frequency on a Super C is far greater, a uh, bigger amount of time than In on between. a Class A motorhome. Like most of these Super Cs on these Freightliners, on their Peterbilt, you're talking about, I think it's 50,000 miles between oil changes, which yeah, is I mean, crazy. Right. You the know? Super C chassis are built to last longer. Yeah, brakes are 100,000 miles more. Mm -hmm. And they're made, if you get like a Detroit Motor, DD-15, uh, 16, I mean, their half-life, I think it's a million miles, mm -hmm. which is... <laughs> Who's driving crazy. a million that's miles, That's crazy, right? you know, so it, it's, it is made to last. Not to say diesel pushers aren't, right? They, mm -hmm. Those Cummins mm -hmm. motors, they last, and the Volvos and stuff, they last a long time also, but it, it's not a fair comparison, right? Like one mm -hmm. is designed to be hauling all the time. Mm -hmm. Number five, one of Izzy's favorites, is towing and carrying capacity, right? So we can take more stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> here there's really not a comparison, right? No. Now, now, again, if you talk about what's being labeled Super C's that really aren't Super C's, it's not a fair comparison. Like we said, we're talking about Class 8 Super C versus even your top of the line Prevost. Mm -hmm. There is no comparison. As far as payload, a lot of these, you know, the higher end diesel pushers, you can get 10,000, 11,000 pounds of payload. That means how much stuff you can carry on board, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. As far as the Super Cs, that's like standard. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, they, there's no comparison. They have 80,000 pound uh, combined weight rating. That's including, you know, what you have on your or motorhome plus what you're towing, right? So you can tow 40,000 pounds on some of these things because that Super C is designed mm -hmm to pull, pull heavy <laughs> loads, okay? Yeah. The most you can get on a uh, diesel pusher is 20,000 pounds. Now that is by, you know, that's that's not chump change, mm -hmm. right? 20,000 mm -hmm. pounds is a lot. But just imagine if you're towing a stacker trailer and say you're at 18,000 pounds and you're, pull you're pulling with a diesel pusher that's 20,000 pound capacity, you got 2,000 pounds to play with. If you're pulling with a Super C that's got 40,000 pounds, it's gonna feel like you have nothing behind mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. right? So that is one of the big, big selling points for yeah. us. Not so much that we want to tow 40,000 pounds, right? Oh, you do. What do you care? No, but when you have that kind of carrying <laughs> capacity, that allows for bigger tanks as far as mm -hmm. holding tanks. Most of these Super Cs are 150 gallons of fresh water. It allows for, you know, heavier framing, tile, and it also allows when you're going down the road, now we haven't driven these things, 
we're hoping to soon, that when you're going down the road, you don't feel that push when you're mm-hmm. driving, right? Now, I understand the people with the diesel pushers, they say you don't feel that, but I haven't seen or read one thing of owners of Super C's talking about how superior the rod is right. to yeah. a diesel pusher. So number six is going to be resale value. So as you know, pretty much you drive any RV off the lot, it's gonna depreciate immediately. But what we have seen in the comparison between Super C's and Class A's is that a Super C's are going to hold their value longer. Right, and now again, what we're talking about are real Super C's, not <laughs> in your case you didn't hear fake that, Super you. C's, okay? <laughs> if you compare, we, we go on RV Trader, number one, there's far less Super C's mm-hmm. for sale, because I think people keep them Hang longer, because they yep. last longer, because they're made better. And uh, if you do a comparison to say, you know, a show hauler or a renegade versus a Dutch star of similar years, that mm-hmm. Super C is going to be selling for significantly more, right. at least asking price. Now, what they right, sell it right. for is different, but there is a significant difference on what the asking price yeah, is. Yeah, you're most likely going to pay more for that Super C. Okay, number seven is going to be noise, and we're talking about engine noise when you're going down the road, okay? Now, again, a disclaimer, we don't own, we haven't driven either one of these. However, we read all the time. We educate <laughs> ourselves, okay? A diesel pusher hands down is going to be more quiet. You're not going to, the engine is, is 40 feet behind you, 45 feet behind you. Of course you're not going to hear mm-hmm. it. If you are in a Super C, you have a big motor with a turbo spooling right, right in there. front of you. Now, we have a gasser right now. I personally don't mind the noise. If you've been in my Ram, it sounds like it should be on a racetrack, right? Long tube headers, straight pipes. I don't care. I like, I want to hear a turbo spool, but for some people, they may hate that. The winner on this diesel pusher, if you want quiet, you want luxury, you want air ride, diesel pusher is definitely going to be the one to go with. And number eight is customization. So you are going to have way more options in that price range when you're looking at a super C. And what MJ means about customization, right? So if you say you're going to get a we'll just say an Allegro bus, right? Or a Zephyr, which is their top end. You can customize to a certain extent, right? You might be able to get a certain color paint. You might be able to uh, get different color floors, different color cabinets, but they're not gonna arrange that floor plan how you want. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go to a other company, again, I'll pick up, bring up Show Hauler or even Renegade. Mm-hmm. If you wanna pick your own tile from your local tile place, mm-hmm. they will put it in there for you. If you wanna build a floor plan as long as it's that with, looks like a Zephyr. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's with is safe within the specs of that motorhome regarding weight and safety, mm-hmm. they'll do it. Like mm-hmm. it's it is whatever you want to pay for. And just remember, we are in the still in the same, same price, price range. If you have a Class A diesel pusher and you want full custom, well then get a Liberty Coach, right? You're gonna be paying a get lot a marathon, more, yeah. and you'll pay two to three million dollars. They'll right. do whatever you want with that. But we're again we're talking about that mm-hmm. production diesel pusher price range. You're going to have, I, I would think, more buying power and more mm-hmm. say when you're going for that Super C. So, what is the verdict on who we think is king of the road? I think, we mm-hmm. think, it's Super C, right? Yeah. Listen, this is all personal. You guys may never watch us again, okay? <laughs> we are not saying diesel pushers by no means are crap. No way. We love them, but for there, us. there's no argument on this. For us, safety is very important. And the, and the towing capacity. Towing capacity that is, is important, yes. yes. And and we really like the customability of some of these, you know, higher end super C's, but the safety is huge right. and, and serviceability. Well, that too. And we love our space, as you know, we do love our space, but we are actually willing to give up a few feet there so we can um, have those other things that are really important to us. Put it like this, guys. If you're driving down the highway, this, maybe this is an <laughs> ego thing. If you're driving down the highway, you're gonna say. and you're in your Honda Civic, and there is a big ass semi behind you. <laughs> you want to get out of the way. <laughs> it, it doesn't have the same effect as the bus is behind you. Now, maybe it's a man thing, but I just, we just feel. And MJ, believe me, she feels the same way. <laughs> well, if you watch us, you know we have our sights set now on a Super C as our next rig, and it hasn't changed for a while, mm-hmm. which is impressive for this one. So if you either own a Class A and you hate us right now, or you own a Super <laughs> C and you love us right now, put it in the comments below, or even better, if you've owned both, if you had a Super C and switched to a Class A or vice versa, put it in the comments below and the reasons why. One of our ERV insiders, Don Bruder, I know he's gonna be all over this, right? Yes. With the Super C. And to the left of us, we're gonna put 
left, our RV DIYs, as well as our RV walkthrough tour playlist. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.